Well, I guess you probably can see where we're at today. Um, it's kind of a, like a desert out here. It's hot, isn't uh -huh. it? It's really hot today. I hope you enjoyed last week's. I tell you, we had so much fun with that. And yes. I saw that Casey Mueller and her kids made some. Ah, that's so awesome. How exciting. Y'all need to send us videos. Yes. We want to see what you're doing. Also, hope you're doing good at school online. I yes. hope everything's going great for y'all. But you know what? We're going to get started. And I think Miss Shannon has our memory verse. I do. It's from Exodus 15. Exodus is the second book in the Old Testament. Exodus 15, 2. And it says this. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Are y'all ready to pray? Awesome. Okay, so let's close our eyes and bow our heads. And if you have a hat, take it off. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for this day and just letting us be able to come outside and come and praise you, Lord. And we ask that you would just give us the endurance to persevere through these hard times. Even if school's a little frustrating, just keep on encouraging us, Lord, every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get started. Uh -huh. Hey guys, we are here with Miss Becca and she is standing. So we get to stand up today and worship the Lord. We're excited that you're here joining in, tuning in with us in your homes. So wherever you're at right now, give yourself some room because we're standing up today, Miss Becca. Yes, that's, we are. That's right. That's right. So stand up and let's praise the Lord. This is I'm Trading My Sorrows. yet so we hope that you're still standing up and get to move around today i'm excited Woo!
Sin has lost its power. Death has lost its sting. From the grave you risen. Victoriously into marvels that I've won. Lord, out of darkness, out of shame. Through the cross you are the truth. You are the light. All right, awesome guys. We love you, and we're going to send you off to our Bible study this morning. Hey guys, so we are out in the closest desert that we have in Texas near the church. And so, what we're doing today is we're kind of talking about water. And if you'll remember, Moses led the people out of captivity in Egypt, and he led them through the Red Sea. They got on the other side, God parted, I mean, unparted the sea, and they all, the Egyptians were all killed. Well, then Moses continued to lead them to the promised land. And they got out there, and it was hot. And it's, it's hot like it is now, hot, and they couldn't find water. And you know, we just go to our taps in the house and there's water, we take a bath in water, we can drink it and make ice. And they didn't have that luxury. So they're walking around and it's hot. In fact, you know how when it gets hot, like in the ground here, we've got this crack. And the reason the ground cracks like that is it's thirsty. It needs water and the grass turns brown. It needs a drink and that's what's happening. says okay and so he leads them to a land and it, it says it in my my bible app i'm going to pull this up and it's exodus 15 down in 24 and it says actually 22 it says that he led them to a land called mara and they couldn't drink the water there because it was bitter and of course they start griping so you know we're gonna do a little experiment I've got this uh, cup of water and it's really very good water we're gonna make it dirty because I have this straw system that's supposed to purify water we're gonna see if this works so Becca let's yes. dirty this water let's put some of this dirt and grass and do it all but we're gonna go inside with my oh see my dirty water and um I'll I'll show y'all what we're gonna do but we're gonna drink this see what happens so hey guys we came in the building we brought our dirty water it's the same dirty water I didn't change anything and um we're gonna talk a little bit about what Moses did so he takes those people out of Egypt and he takes them through the wilderness to get to the promised land. And like I said, they were grumbling and complaining. They were thirsty. They had gone to a place called Mara and that place had bitter water. I would think that if I tried to drink this water the way it is now, it'd probably be pretty bitter. And so naturally I wouldn't do that. And so the water was yucky and they didn't want to drink it. And he prayed to God and he cried out and said, Lord, tell me what to do. And the Lord showed him a log and he threw the log in the water and the water became sweet. Of course, God could do that. God could do that even now, put something in the water and make it sweet. And so that's what Moses did through that log in there. The water became sweet. And so the people drank, but then the Lord said, you know, that's not all that I want to do. I not only am going to make this water sweet, but I want you to do your part. The Lord made a statute with them and some rules and he tested them and he said, if you will diligently listen to me, the Lord, and do what is right and listen to my commandments and keep all of these statues, I will let you stay healthy and none of the diseases will come upon you because I'm the healer. And so they agreed. And Moses took them to the land of Elam, where there were 12 springs of water, 
12, and 70 palm trees, so they even had shade, and they encamped there by the water. God took such good care of them and encamped them by the water. So when we were out there outside the church, you know, we, there wasn't really any water sources out there, but God gave them 12 and he gave them shade, which we didn't have out there either, no shade. And so let me show you what I, I bought. So this is from Walmart and it is a water purification system. So you're supposed to be able to take this nasty water right here and run it through the, we'll put it in this pouch and run it through this filter and be able to drink it. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna take this little syringe and I'm gonna stick it in this cup and I'm gonna get this dirty water out of there. Now you can tell, oh, that it is not clean yet. Look at that. I'm gonna put it in this pouch because this pouch screws onto this filter. And I'm gonna squeeze this, oop, this dirty water in here. And then I'm gonna take this filter and put it on here. Now this filter is supposed to have a purification system in it that takes all the nastiness out of the water so that if you're like out in the middle of nowhere and all you have is dirty water, you're supposed to be able to use this filter to drink it. So I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit. And let's see huh, if that works. The water looks pretty clean to me. I don't see dirt. Huh. It's a little off color, like when I look at the water that's coming into the cup. It kind of looks a little bit yellow. Mm. So let's see, I'm gonna open this and see. Mm. And that's all that's left in there is yuckiness. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks way better than this. Now the question is, will I drink it? Well, I think I will because it doesn't look like that. And the package says that it'll be good so here we go. I wonder if it'll taste like dirt. Should I do it? Okay. Hmm. It tastes like water to me. Doesn't taste any different than regular water. Now I would not drink that, but I will this because I know that it's been filtered. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Would you do it? So if you want to, they sell them at Walmart, these little kits. There's two kinds. There's one that has like, looks like a straw and you actually just take the straw and put it into the water like that and suck. And then they have some that are like this. And we picked this one because this one filters out more water than the other one does. But just see and have fun. And remember that God will always provide for you.